Now I'd like to spend a few minutes to give you a kind of a theoretical overview of how quantum entrainment works and why it's so incredibly powerful. I call this the hierarchy of life. And it's a very simple uh, explanation of why things work the way they work and why things are more powerful at certain levels than they are at others. And here's what I mean. I'm going to draw a line right along here, along the bottom. Now, above this line is every created thing in the world. That is stars and cars and jelly jars and thoughts and emotions, all of that up here. Down here, we have pure awareness. Now, we won't deal with this too much because I want to focus on the things, the things that our senses can pick up and that we can understand. Now, if you're sitting, you're sitting in a chair. I'm going to draw a chair right up here. That's a chair. That chair is exhibiting some energy and order. In fact, everything in creation always has two things. It has energy and order. So the chair is energy because it's supporting you, right? You didn't fall down. It's, it is a energy in the form of a chair, OK? That level, that is the level of our senses. That's the Newtonian level, if you will, the level of action and reaction. We can see things. This is where science used to, to think that, oh, this, we, if we can control this level of life, we can control everything. Um, what happens is the level of the senses then is left behind when we go to a finer level. And here we have, let's say I'm going to draw, this is a molecule. That's a molecule. And then we have the atomic level. And then we have the subatomic level and the level of the wave. This is an atom. And this is subatomic particles and the wave. Now, it's interesting. This is a hierarchy, if you will. The chair is made of molecules, and molecules are made of atoms, and atoms are made of subatomic particles, and partic subatomic particles are made of waves. How do I know that? Because I like quantum mechanics, and I like other kinds of physics, and that's what they tell me, so I believe them. But there's another way to understand this. Each finer level, we could say this is the grossest level of the senses. We could say that this is a finer level. Each finer level of creation has more power, more energy, and more order. And how do we know that? Well, if I took the chair that you're sitting in, for instance, if you took it, and you wanted to get more energy out of it than just sitting on it, you could go to the molecular level, rearrange the molecules, say by lighting it on fire, and release much more energy in the form of heat and light by burning your chair. Okay? If you wanted to get even more energy out of the chair, you could go to the atomic level. If you knew how to split the atoms of the chair, you could release huge amounts of energy. And so it goes on down through the finer levels. The wave level is extremely powerful. And by the way, how do we build up? How does a chair come out of a wave? Well, we can kind of look at it like this. If this is a wave going this way, and then you have another wave going this way, and another wave going this way. By the way, waves go infinitely in every direction, but you don't need to know that. Where they intersect, you have a particle right here. And then where the particles kind of go together, you get an atom, and then a molecule, and then a chair. So basically, everything is made out of vibrations. Where do vibrations come from? Well, they come from actually this field here of pure awareness. Uh, there are other names for that. Um, the David Bohm, who was considered uh, by Einstein, his intellectual son, because he thought so much like Einstein, called this area here implicate order. I am P order. Implicate order. What is he, what, how did he define that? He said that it's not energy and it is not uh, a, a form. What it is, it is nothing at all. And yet, from that nothing, everything comes. And the first thing that comes from nothing is a wave, and so it builds up. Now, 
when people do uh, healing techniques, for instance, like Reiki and healing touch and uh, other forms of energy healing, they do it on this very powerful level of the wave. And what they do is they take the wave and they, they kind of make it move in a direction. Uh, they might have symbols, they might have some, some way of thinking, they might do certain uh, forms of movement that create energy like uh, Tai Chi and um, Qigong. That's all energy and that's very powerful from this level. But when we slip below that level, this is an area of no doing. So this is where quantum QE, quantum entrainment, this is the level that it works from. And the really neat thing about it is you don't have to learn a system of healing. You simply only have to learn how to experience pure awareness and then everything rearranges from it from there on. So let's say that you have, uh, here you are here, and you have a problem with your, uh, let's say you have carpal tunnel. That is and a, on every level, on the gross level, a molecular level, the atomic level, that's a problem there. When it gets down here to the level of pure awareness, it's not a problem anymore. It dissolves. So what we do with QE is we go in to pure awareness, and when we come back out, the problem has been rearranged all by itself, and healing has taken place. It's just that simple. Anyone who is aware, and that means you because you're watching this, can be taught simply and easily how to make that awareness, how to draw from this pure awareness and heal every single level of your life. And if you'd like to know more about quantum entrainment, then please feel free to contact us.